and we've always felt ourselves being the center of, you know, we talked a lot about primal community and it seemed like that's where we always found ourselves creating wherever we were, was creating community in a certain kind of way. And um, I think that's one thing uh, that, that was sort of a, a residue or a carryover from yes. our experience. And, um, but also an ability to just burn everything. I mean, yes. risk everything and move on to something new when that seemed to be yeah. what we needed to well, do. Well, you know, last night I was talking about we had not been in, we went in June and lived in our camper in Kent, well, in Streetsboro, and, you know, we're trying to find an apartment that was a reasonable price and would hold our stuff. And I was trying to find a job, and we could, you know, early September, Doug's going off to class. He, he could leave that camper every day and go to a nice office. <laughs> and I was kind of stuck there. And I walked back in the house and Matt Lauer has talked about an idiot who flew a plane into the tower. And and, and then the whole 9-11 thing, and it was like, we have really just done the stupidest thing we could ever have done. And, you know, I literally was thinking, should we hitch up the, the trailer and just go to Canada? I mean, I couldn't think of anything except maybe we have to get out of this country. Our stuff is all in the storage facility here, but, you know, we just have to kiss it goodbye and, and escape with our lives kind of thing, which, of course, is an exaggeration. We also didn't know whether he was actually going to be able to get through the calculus parts of his statistics courses, because they promised him there was no calculus involved, and he never had calculus. The course changed on him, and there was calculus. He managed to teach himself calculus in a weekend, and up to buy himself. Well, that was like, and you know, there's just all of this. Maybe we have really done something stupid. And then I got a full-time subbing position with the school, and I didn't realize this quite at first. But the substitute teachers began to form this sort of group. And at the end of the year, all three years I was there, we had a wine and cheese party at my house on the Thursday before the last Friday of school. And, you know, the, the subs all came and we, we, had, we supported each other. They tried various things to, I don't know why they disrespected substitute teachers. You know, they're, they're, if they're good and they can keep order in a classroom, You'd think you'd want to keep them happy, but there were various different idiot things that they would do, and we would stick up for each other. And, and I realized that it was some way to, to make a community. And I think that was what was hard for me in moving. And it's been hard for me here more than I think him. Is you, it's hard. You get to a certain age, it gets harder and harder because everybody's already formed whatever their community is and trying to either get into it or, or form you find other refugees or something and, and form another community. It, it gets more difficult, but it doesn't get impossible. And it's what keeps you going. So I was going to say it's education, but I think you're right. It's actually just making a, a community here, a community there. Uh, I was pleased that Vince just walked up here yesterday, because we have not been that close. We were friendly, but we haven't been that close. So Vince was over here a couple of times since Doug and this chainsaw went over to help him with his tree that fell down. And, you know, I, I think that's Well, but the, the broader aspects of this, too, still are when we moved to Davenport and Quad Cities, and I took a position after I got my doctorate at Kent State. Uh, this location was somewhat attractive because of proximity to Chicago, and uh, people that we knew in Chicago, like Bergdahls and Troxels. And so there was a kind of reconnecting, too, with with yeah. people that we've known, who now were engaged in their own professional activities. Um, and I think the other connection for me that was was part of this whole transition out of Cannonball was uh, through the IAF and the startup of the IAF in, in the mid-90s. And I got involved with some of the beginnings of the IAF and, and connected with, reconnected with people there as well as with, uh, I met, I made some key uh, relationships with people at the University of Arizona in the academic community. And in talking with them, there was a vision I had of being a bridge between the academic community 
who was researching uh, group decision making and technology support for that, and the ICA community and, and uh, facilitation community who really didn't see the value particularly of uh, technological support. They got me. I mean, uh, and, and, uh, but I made some, some key connections with people. I even had an invitation to do a doctorate at the University of Arizona, uh, but uh, didn't, just wasn't able to really get away from things at the University of Mary at that time.